there are some more rules with regard to having principle. You know the strokes M, N, L, R. M, N, L, double O, D, F. R. These are halved and thickened. That means halved and thickened. Give the sound of imbed, imbed, irred, irred. The strokes M, N, downward M and R are halved and thickened for the addition of D. For the addition of D. The strokes M, N, downward L and R are halved and thickened for the addition of D. They give the sound of M, N, D, D, D. The strokes M, N, downward L, R. Downward L, upward L cannot be thickened. In our system, a thick stroke is never written upward. There is no question of writing a heavy stroke upward. Therefore, here, downward L only. Downward L. The strokes M, N, downward L and R are halved and thickened for the addition of D. Suppose, mate. You know, you can write M hard. Mate. Mate. M hard and thickened. Isn't it? Made. Aimed. 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 Like this. Net. Neat. Obviously. Young. Generally. It can be halved. Need. Need. Young halved and thickened. Need. End. End. So, young is halved and thickened. And he also on top. Need. And he also on top. D. Old. Old. Illa is written downward only. And here downward are halved and thickened. And You want example of ill? Okay. Tired. Tired. Blamed. Blamed. Like this. So, the strokes M, N, downward L and downward R are tired and thickened for the addition of D. Okay. Yield when stands alone is written only if a vowel precedes. Otherwise, yield cannot be written when standing alone. Old. Yield is standing alone. There is no other consonantal stroke attached. So, only yield when standing alone can be written if there is a vowel preceding. Otherwise, yield cannot be written alone, old. Suppose, sold. Because, ill is not standing alone, old. So, ill stands alone, 
is written only if the word begins with a vowel. If the word begins with a vowel. That means there must be a preceding vowel. In very few cases, another example is and. What more examples we get? But the rule is rule. Now here, tilde is not standing alone. Okay, therefore, we will have to write in full. This hold. Hold. Take Hold. Hold. Okay. This is a very small rule that you will have to remember. Yield of M stands alone is to be written only if there is a preceding vowel. If the word begins with a vowel, then only you will have to write. It's only for two examples, that's all. Yield and Yield are not used if a vowel intervenes L and D, R and D. Point. Point. Tallin. Here, between L and D, there is a bubble. Therefore, if a bubble intervenes, L and D, Yield cannot be used. If a vowel intervenes, L and D, yield cannot be used. Half length form of yield cannot be used. Tired, safely, you can write. Similarly, mad, mad, you can write. Mad, but married. Why we are writing in full? Because there is a vowel between R and D. There is a vowel between R and D. So, yield or yield, yield or yield are not used if a vowel intervenes between, intervenes between L and D or R and D. So, here, Man, simply you can write, you can use in, but here there is a vowel. There is a vowel intervening between R and D. Valid. But failed, suppose. You can use failed hold. Or hurry, hurry, okay, hurry. So if here vowel intervenes between L and D or R and D, then the half length forms of yield and yield cannot be used. In compound consonants, you know that uh, la and ra, la and ra, ruler, admirer, you know, downer yell is thickened for the addition of ha, downer r is thickened for the addition of ha. Lar and lar. But these forms cannot be halved. These forms cannot be halved. Red, red. Downward yell is taken for a yield only. Yield, yield. That's all. Lar and lar. Cannot be halved. Red, Rarid. Okay? Not from rarid, rarid. 
This is a point to be kept in mind. That's enough. The strokes yunk and yunk cannot be halved for the addition of T or D because already there is yunk and yunk. Isn't it? Already there are sounds. So this yunk or ing cannot be halved for the addition of T or D unless they are hooked whether it is initially or finally. So yunk and ing can be halved if they are hooked initially or finally then you will get a T or D sound. Let us see the examples. Ham pirated. Ham pirated. You can use. Because there is an initial hook. So, impired. So, yump. Now, ham pirated. Irrid sound has got. Ham pirated. Because there is a hook. It may become ham part also. Okay. You see here. Ram part. Ram part. Imp is there. Imp. 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 Ham part. Understand this. Imp. If it is hard, impaired. Because there is a hook. Initially or finally, there must be hook. There must be. Otherwise, if there is no hook, it will become imbed. Simply. Impugned. 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 D sound has come. Rampart, T sound has come. So, T sound has come. Here, D sound has come. So, imp and ing can be halved for T or D only when there is a hook for that half size stroke. Lingered, lingered. Linger. You can write. These are all the simple and isolated rules. If irid is not convenient, rehaul may be used for irid sound. Okay, let us see example. Colored. Stroke is a 
Father is this. Stroke of the stroke of the Hanuman. This can be written. The Hanuman occurred after Shalhu as per convenience. Protectionist. Protectionist. Protection. Protection. Protectionist. Protection. List. This is just protectionist. Crocus is out written downward. There is no problem because this crocus is always written downward. So you write. But suppose progressionist. Progression. Progression. No, this still. So this like this. Progressionist. Progressionist. Now where to put the Roman sign? Please tell me. Roman sign E. Here. Progressionist. Here we can put third place. Here third place. This uh, is still written upward. Then where to put this vowel sign? Here or here? What is the rule then? Tell me the rule. Ah. The vowel places are counted from the point where the stroke begins. Second chapter. So, progressionist we will put here. Because this is the first place, second place, third place. Understood? Progressionist. Education. Education. No, this is still. Educationist. Like this we can Educationist. Strokes of unequal length cannot be joined. Strokes of unequal length cannot be joined. Unless there is a proper and a clear angle or shade. Shade means thickness. Okay. Let us see the examples. You will understand. Suppose cooked. Who? Okay, in speed, we write like this. 
So, K is not visible. It is not legible. We cannot read it. Therefore, we write, we write a full fact. Fact, minute. Yum, yum can be half minute. But, by writing, very difficult, isn't it? Like this. It will become young. So, it is not legible. Isn't it? Therefore, we write, minute. No, in, it, minute. We write in full minute. We don't use the having principle. Having principle is not applied here. But, Afford. Afford. You can write, you can use. Here, this is light stroke, this is thick strokes, no angle is there. But where are cooked? There is no angle. Angle cannot be seen here. There is no angle. Cooked. Here there is angle and also shared. The thickness is there. We can use. Support. Named. Yimma can be written. Named. Because there is Yimma here. Yimma is there. So yes. Yimma can be seen clearly. So the, the point is, strokes of unequal length, unequal length cannot be joined unless there is a legibility. And if there is an angle, we can uh, write, no problem. But whereas, uh, in the examples of uh, looked, cooked, cannot be, because uh, that angle, there is no angle, and uh, you see the half length uh, uh, forms cannot be seen. Not visible, not legible, not convenient. Fine. Yes. Clear angle is there. Unequal length. This is uh, full length stroke, half length stroke. No problem. So, unequal length to strokes, when you are going to join, you must check up whether there is a clear angle and a clear thickness. Okay. Half length TRD are disjoined after full length TRD. Suppose, when the half length TRD are to be joined to the full length TRD, in such cases, don't join, you disjoin. So, the half length TRD are disjoined after full length TRD. Let us see the examples. Attitude. A Tune. Tune. Again, two strokes of unequal length. It is very difficult to do decipher. It cannot be seen. Isn't it? T how it cannot be seen. Therefore, half a T cured. So T can be halved actually. Isn't it? So you can write cured. Attitude. You design and write. Suppose you want to do. As in tune you want to write, tune, so that you can get this out of D. You can employ having principle in words of more than one syllable, a yes, stroke may be halved. So, tune means, if you have this, as in tune, so if you, if you have this, you will get this sound. So, in order to get that sound, See, in future, we are not going to vocalize the outlines generally in uh, high speeds. So, you can use. It is very easy to write attitude. Edited. A D. A D. Ted, if T is hard, you will get a D sound. Therefore, you write it. A D Ted. A D Ted. A D Ted. A D Ted. 
So if TRD occurs after full length TRD, rather it is TRD, this is T hard, credited, 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 divided. Divided, there is no question of uh, desiring anything. For example, see, divided, D, if there is a refer way hook is there, then you write, there is no question of desiring here, because there is a hook is there, you can It is not, uh, you see, this half length D is not, occurring immediately after D. In the middle there is another constant sound. Okay. And in some other cases also. For example, happiness. Happiness. See, our aim is, remember, our, our aim is to write the word quickly. Okay. Now, happiness, it is not possible to join because there is no angle half length full length and it is uh, there is no proper angle it is not uh, so easy to read then what you say you want to write fully full stroke it takes time r r a r p t n circles you have to write not less three you see by designing it means r plus so designing, it is written in close proximity in the previous stroke. So this, this will become an outline. Okay, happiness. So in such cases also, the, the method of designing, not only after TRD, in such cases also, the Harding principle can be employed. You will write hesitate. Inkly you will have to write where how to you see join. Suppose when you are writing speedily, it will go like this. So you can immediately design hesitatingly. Hesitate ingly. Hesitatingly. Hesitate. Hesitate. E ingly. Hesitatingly. So let us make use of the facility of uh, having principle. Tightness. Tight. Okay. Next, if you join here, it is difficult. So, okay, tightness. Huh? Position writing, yes. The first work, how the line? Okay. Suppose if you join, how it will appear? Suppose. So, like this, above the line. See that the tight is above the line. Okay. Huh? Tight is above the line. are dead is always represented by the half length form of TRD. Parted. See? Parted. ED. This is past tense. Part, parted. Graded. Grade. Grade is, graded is the past tense. Dead. Okay. Graded. So the past tense is represented by the half size TRD. Divide, you write? Divide. Divided. Past tense. Divided. Past tense is represented by the half length TRD.
The having principle is used in phrase geography. In every chapter, as I said, when we find a new technique of a quick writing, a new device to write the sounds quickly, immediately that technique is used in phrase geography for quick writing. See, phrase is very important because the phrase is quickly pronounced. The phrases are quickly pronounced. Therefore, we must be able to write the phrases quickly. So, the having principle is also used in phraseography for words like it, not, to, would, like this. And sometimes for a combination of sounds also. I will tell you. Effect. If it, if it, if it is, I am not. Able, able is a hard, able to be. I am able to. We can write quickly. You may not. You, you, you will write you. May not. I would. I is the short end. I, I would, they would, we would be, we would be, few words, you see. So, this way hard is used for word or words. See, in future, even forward also. You see? Take forward. Suppose, take forward. In future, in high speed, we use like this. Even way hard is used for forward. At all times. At all times. Isn't it? At all times. This too, at all. Okay. These two joined at all times. Now if you hold this, this T also can be accommodated here. At all times. How quickly we can write at all times? From time to time. Isn't it? This from, if it is halved, this T can be eliminated. Isn't it? Now, this. If this, if this M is halved, then this T can be eliminated. And two is coming from time to time. For hard, M hard, M. From time to Completely omitted is the extensive use of the halving principle. So like this, the halving principle is employed in phraseography for words like it, to, not, word, word, forward, from time to time, at all times, like this. Halving principle can be applied in phraseography. This is the end of a halving principle. Thank you.